and God forbid that you suffer from dry lips because at that point, only he can help you then. Quick drying formulas immediately seep into the small lines of your lips and expose everything. Hey guys, welcome back to another lipstick swatch video. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches. So straight to today's video, we will be swatching lippies from BH Cosmetics. It is their liquid linen long lasting lippies. I purchased these on Ulta.com and the options there were that they're only available online only. That's what I saw from their website, that it was only available online and they go for $7 each. These are also vegan and cruelty free. So before we jump in, let's go ahead and read what they have for the description for these lippies. I am reading it straight off Ulta's website on my phone. It says, drench your lips in velvety, smooth, vibrant color with the BH Cosmetics Liquid Linen Long Lasting Lip Color. The lightweight, pigment rich formula glides on comfortably with a plush dough foot applicator for precise, buildable coverage that delivers superior staying power for hours. So, let's find out. The first shade we're gonna start with is this shade, and this shade is called Anya. Absolutely no smell whatsoever. Nada, so we're good there. It could be a peachy coral color. Well, it looks like the color is showing up on camera. So one thing I noticed right away is that it's drying super fast. <laughs> and that sometimes can be a bad thing. So because it's drying super fast, that means that throughout the day, it's really gonna get more drying from my experience. It's looking pretty streaky to me. The color is good though, but I just don't like how streaky it looks. Also, these are not the easiest to come off. I have been struggling with this one for a little while now and I've made some progress but it's very slow progress. So I feel so bad for my lips right now because they are gonna suffer through this swatch video. So make sure you have like a lip oil around you to take these off. I am actually out or I just can't find the ones that I have, but these are very difficult to, to remove, which can also be a good sign that it's a it's a long lasting lipstick. Moving right along to the next shade here, we have Christy. And this one looks like a hot pink. I want to be a little more quick since these are quick drying formulas. Another tip with quick drying formulas, you always want the first layer to dry first before you apply another layer because that can contribute to streakiness of the, the lipstick. What do you guys think about it? I want to know, drop your comments in the section down below. Next on the list, we have Jessica, which to me looks like a beautiful fuchsia color.
These lipsticks just dry super fast. Sometimes it's hard to get that seamless look. And I think this one came out a little bit patchy. And I'm telling you right now, if you have dry lips, these are gonna emphasize every dry patch that you have going on. Because like there is, I just barely finished putting them on and they are completely dry. It pretty much matches up with the swatch that I have on the back of my hand. So colors here are pretty consistent, which we know that does not always happen. So I am glad when I can see consistency across the board with the colors, but I'm not mad at this color either. This is a totally wearable color for me. Not, you know, everyone's cup of tea or everyone's nine to five color, but it's a fun wearable summer color. So I dig it. Moving on to the next shade. <laughs> we have Jordan. Well, it's orange. Somehow I feel like this shade is not as flattering on me as some of the previous shades. Um, I don't know how I feel about this one. I'm kind of on the fence about this shade. I just feel like it, I just feel like this one is emphasizing the lines in my lip um, a little bit more, which is not flattering whatsoever. But I don't hate it and I don't love it. I am caught in the middle. That's just where I'm at right now. Let me know what you guys think of this shade in the comment section. And lastly, but not leastly, we have Nichelle. And that's Nichelle with an N. I think this is my favorite shade so far from the colors that I have. It's like the perfect purple shade. It's not too light, not too dark, and also it's not far off at all from what I swatched behind my hand here. So the colors to me are consistent enough from the tube as well. You can see it across the board that there is consistency there. But I appreciate that situation where what you see is what you get. So there is no, there is no guessing game there. And I think this color just, it's just beautiful. This is, this is my favorite shade so far from the, the entire set. This is my favorite shade. I have nothing else to say. It's a winner for me. Thumbs up for me. If you like it as well, then comment in the comment section or give this video a like. And I'm just going to leave it right there. Now that we've swatched all the shades of the BH Cosmetics Long Lasting Lipsticks, let's get into a little recap. So I'm just gonna go off the details that I read earlier in the video. So they claim that it's velvety smooth. Well, uh, to me, it's not that velvety. It's, and of course that's subjective, but I feel like I've tried enough lipsticks with uh, velvety formula to kind of know what feels velvety. So to me, from a scale of zero to five, with five being velvety, I would give this probably a two and a half. I've definitely felt more velvety lipsticks or velvety -er, if you wanna take it there. <laughs> but I've definitely felt more velvety lipsticks than these, so that's just my opinion. Uh, vibrant color, 
I would say that the color is pigment rich. It's, it's powerful, you can see it right away. At first, I thought because, you know, it said that it's a buildable formula, I thought it was gonna swatch a little bit on the lighter side, so I wasn't expecting much of a pigment from these, but they proved me wrong. This is a very pigmented formula, as you can see. Um, what else it says? It's lightweight, very much so. It feels like there is nothing on my lips. It actually reminds me of ColourPop's Ultra Blotted Lipsticks. It's that same weightless feeling that I get from these, so that's very true. It's lightweight. Pigment rich, we discussed that. Glides on comfortably. Um, because the formula is quick drying, I wouldn't say it glides on comfortably. So, I mean, this is something to be discussed, but I didn't find that it glided on comfortably for me because as soon as I made one glide, um, that's already dry and then when I go back, it makes it a little bit, I have to struggle just a little bit to get the other part on. So, um, that's just how, that was just my experience with that. Uh, buildable coverage, like I said, these are pretty pigmented, so. Um, but else it delivers superior stay in power for hours. Now, obviously I won't be able to determine that from this short video because I haven't worn it for hours, but uh, because it's a quick drying formula, like I said, these can go either way. These can come off pretty quickly. It can crumble. I've had that in my experience happen to me or it can truly be a long lasting lipstick. So yeah, there is absolutely nothing on the back of my hand. So it's transfer proof right now. But what happens when I eat and when I drink? Sometimes that the wetness from the food and the drink will cause it to start to, to crumble. Um, and then, and therefore it will not be as long lasting. So what I'm saying is that it can go either way. If you choose not to eat or if you just drink with a straw, these can probably last you a very long time. If not, these will probably only last you about an hour. So it can be either extreme. So it just depends on what you do throughout the day. I also want you to note that these will emphasize every single thing on your lips. Like you will see everything from these lipsticks. People can even find your social security number if you're not careful. These lipsticks, the formula is so quick trying that everything is going to be exposed. So one thing you want to do is make sure that you exfoliate. Make sure that you put on a lip balm or something because it will expose everything on your lips. Any dry patches, your elementary school report card, everything is gonna show from this lipstick. So like I said, you can't say I didn't warn you, but if you guys like this video, make sure that you go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe so that you guys can continue to see more content like this. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next swatch video. Bye.